First, the Iraqi refugee ringleader behind an elaborate car insurance rort. This bloke scammed millions of dollars through bogus accident injury claims. And guess who eventually paid for his racket? That's right, we did. In my view, this is organised crime. It's unacceptable. Crime might pay. The fraudsters are waking up this morning to an absolute nightmare. You will get caught. But you can't take your wallet into prison. This person is now going to spend three years at Her Majesty's pleasure, and then after that, deported. And the government says the party's over for compulsory third-party insurance crooks. It is a crime, and that's why Today's result, where one of these crooks got three years jail, sends a big message that we're not going to tolerate this anymore. The message is getting through. This is the moment New South Wales police fired their latest shot in a war against fake CTP claims running rampant across the industry. Arresting a 56-year-old smash repairer at his Western Sydney business yesterday morning before charging him with fraud. Well, basically, these fraudsters concoct an accident, stage an accident, and then they make claims on that accident on the green slips. So this is obviously New South Wales Finance Minister Victor Dominello is driving the campaign against a wave of shonks who we exposed last month, faking car crashes and injuries to collect on bogus CTP green slip claims. Any motorist that is paying for their compulsory third party insurance is basically paying for these fraudsters. On the same day, Iraqi Tamer Ari one of the racket's ringleaders was jailed for three years over two fake crashes totaling $2.5 million in fake claims. He'll be deported at the end of his sentence. The New South Wales fraud squad and insurance investigators have identified a number of fake crash syndicates operating in the refugee and migrant communities of Western Sydney. With informants already starting to turn on them, attention now shifts to doctors and lawyers whose signatures have a habit of popping up on the dodgy claims. They're linked to certain lawyers, medical providers and specialists. Matt Kayrou's head of CTP at GIO, says motorists are paying an average of $70 a year each to make up for fraudulent claims. If it's not genuine and we find evidence that it's not genuine, we will fight it and not pay it. A current affair understands around a dozen law firms have been identified as possible participants in the web of fraud. We have to earn our money the hard way, so why not I? I hope you get caught. That's the message I'd send. Yeah. Someone with no values and respect to the country and the community. I think they're opportunists. So, you know, where the opportunity lies um, is available, people just go for that. Three years in jail is a living nightmare. And this sends a big signal out to the potential fraudsters Next time you think about making a dodgy claim, think once, twice, maybe even three times, because if you do this, the police are after you, and this is the sign of more things to come. So far, police have arrested six people and laid more than 70 charges, and already their efforts are paying off. We have an unprecedented number of claims that have been withdrawn for the smaller injuries. As we've said before, and as the police have said, you've got nowhere to hide. Nowhere to hide. That's the point. The smash repairer has been granted conditional bail and he will be back in court next month.